YouTube, I just got in a wreck. Uh, it's been about an hour after, but I just remember that I also have a YouTube channel. Um, I'm okay. Let me show you guys the damage, but I, I just don't know what to say. Emergency video. Emergency video. Well, guys, um, there goes my car. God, holy, shit. oh my god, dude, no, how's it going, everybody? My name is John, aka Clout Stang. This is my 2018 Mustang GT. I'm currently on the side of a highway, and I absolutely totaled my car, it's completely done. Um, I'm trying to stay calm, I'm trying to look at the bright side. The sun's coming out, so that's good. Um, I got my retainer in, so that's why I have a lisp. And I dropped the weight on my face, that's why my lip is all busted up. But this airbag went off. That's the only thing that happened in the inside. Let me show you guys the outside. So it is kind of picking up on the traffic, but this is the damage. Um, I hydroplaned on that highway bridge right there and completely lost control. It slid out like crazy. I'll insert the dash cam footage right here. I literally just, boom, hit the side of the bridge, flipped over, and then somehow made it here. I slid all the way here. But let's check out some of this damage. Front bumper is completely destroyed. The intercooler is bent and destroyed. The crash bar here is destroyed. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to get run over. But the frame here is the bad part. It is completely bent. So is the other side. It's completely bent. The hood is messed up. Uh, the firefighters did show up because I guess people called in, thought I was dead, um, but they went ahead and put the lights. This is the uh, the string here. This is my front bumper. It's kind of just mashed in there all together. Car looks kind of cool though, I'm not gonna lie. It is beautiful outside today. That is a hospital, so I'm kind of glad I didn't get, I'm very, very thankful uh, that I didn't get injured. But you can see I did have the drag slicks on, but if you can see in the video, I was going about 45 probably. These are brand new, brand new street tires on the front brand new and it kicked me out so freaking hard and i hit the bridge um i'm not gonna show you guys but it's right over there it literally red paint all over um but yeah the airbag went on i tried to start the car uh, airbag went off i tried to start the car there's oil pressure i didn't see any droplets anywhere there's oil pressure everything's kind of good except it won't stay running i'm pretty sure the airbag cut off some type of fuel or maybe the fuse pump. I don't know how it works with the, the newer Mustangs. I know in the back, there's like an inertia switch. I, there's not on this car, but on the old 2004 Mustangs. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to stay on. So now I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for the uh, the tow truck, which you should be here any moment now. It's It's been about two hours since the accident, so we'll see. I do have full coverage and I'm insured. So we're gonna see, they're likely gonna total it out. But if they do, I think I already made up my mind. That's the tow truck right over there. I already made up my mind and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, restore it to its former glory. I don't care what the title says. I bought this car for myself to make it fast and to show you guys my process along the way. This is something that I love, it's my passion. I love cars, I like making content. Um, so I'm pretty sure this Mustang's here to stay. Well, we're just gonna hope that the insurance gives us a good price, honestly. I did call the insurance. They said, don't worry about a police report since you were the only one involved. Uh, the tow truck should be somewhere on the way. I, he just honked at me earlier in the clip, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this loaded up home I'm gonna take some footage because I'm sure he's gonna do what he has to do And uh, then I'm gonna try to go over the damage a little bit more when I get home. I did just come off work So I'm super tired. I, I need some sleep. This is I know it doesn't sound like it or seem like it online But it's really taking a toll on me uh, Mentally physically not really because you know, I'm strong, but it's taking a toll on me mentally So I'm gonna go home and kind of relax a little bit and uh, approach this from a more um, not an emotional standpoint, but more of a statistical, logistical, how much is this going to cost me standpoint? How long will it take to get my car running? I literally just got the built transmission uh, from Suncoast Performance put in here. I'm doing the break-in miles, or I was doing the break-in miles. I needed about 100 more break-in miles, and unfortunately, unfortunately it got me. I was going, like I said, slow. It kicked me out like this, and I just hit the side of the road. So the tow truck driver is here, as you can see right there. He's going to be busy working, but we're going to go ahead and get this thing loaded up. 
and uh, I'll try to film a little bit, but you know, they're busy. So here we go. So you can see Tom here is helping me out. He's hooking it up underneath and we're just gonna tow it on there. I went ahead and put it in neutral because it is the 10 speed. So we'll see. It's having trouble staying on, but uh, yeah, let's get it. Oh, it's perfect. Easy peasy. We got it up on the trailer. Everything's good to go. It won't even start now. Uh, it might be because of the angle, but I can't even roll up the window. Yeah, I think the battery's dead too. I'm not gonna lie. Now it's time to get her home. And we finally made it home. It was about a 10 minute drive. I think he said he's gonna turn around so that he can reverse into the driveway, but right here is gonna be its resting spot for the next couple of days. Uh, honestly, probably weeks until we get insurance figured out. We all know how they work. We all know that they take their sweet, sweet time. So for now, we're just gonna get the car unloaded and, and um, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm having the best day ever. Well, that's why I put it open. All right, so we got the car completely dropped off on the tow truck. I'm gonna try to go over a little bit of the damage. The inside airbag deployed. Um, the hood was not closing, I'm sorry, not opening. That's probably because the entire section here, if you can kind of see, is bent. So um, the frame, this is, <laughs> this is definitely the frame. It's completely cracked right up to the front over there. I don't know if you can really see. It was completely messed up here. Uh, the radiator here, this one, the stock one, I'm pretty sure, is bent in, it's kind of curved. Uh, the intercooler looks to be okay so far. Um, we'll see once we remove this crash bar here, but you can see the crash bar is completely bent and covered. This bumper, I don't even, I mean, it's still on here. The pro charger, I have a little bit of boost leaks. I, I'm kind of worried because this is like crushed in. Um, and so is this one here. And then it was having trouble starting, but I'm gonna guess that that was the MAF sensor. Everything motor back seems to be okay. Um, like I said, it's just, the frame is clearly bent. Um, both of the fenders are, you know, destroyed. The hood, the, this is destroyed here. The hood, cause seen better days. Luckily, you know, these, these are actually holding up pretty good. Um, this is bent all the way back. Same with the other one. And with the hood open, I can't open my driver's side door. Um, and on the inside here, you can see just the airbag deployed. Uh, everything else, it looks pretty good. So I'm pretty sure I just need new fenders, hood, a new front strut. And uh, we'll see what the insurance can do. I have to leave the car alone. Um, I can't take any parts off now. Um, otherwise, my insurance company could deny my claim. So I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to kind of stockpile everything, start getting a list together. Because if I do end up getting this car back from the insurance company for a good price, then you already know what I'm going to do with it. Um, pretty much from here back is going to be tubular front. And um, obviously, caster camera plates, new wheels, new tires. Everything's going to go crazy. It's going to go absolutely insane i'm gonna do all of it myself uh, except maybe the cutting of the framing and maybe the welding um i do have to practice i do have welding degrees and all that but i do have to practice it's <laughs> this is not something you want to mess around on especially on a car such as this so seriously thank you guys so much for watching i really we'll see if this car gets total i'm pretty sure it is just because of that massive frame damage here and the amount of labor and parts and stuff but i can do it all myself Thank you guys so much for watching again for the eighth millionth time. Please leave a like, leave a comment on how much you think. If you think this is going to be totaled or not, I'd love to read. I'm going to read all the comments that I can. I'm getting flooded with a lot of messages, a lot of love, a little bit of hate, but mostly love. So like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Have a good morning. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.